I guess what I hear in you is in your sharing Kiva is like this permission to have KPIs that reflect your lifestyle preferences or your, your values to measure what's important to you, not industry standards or egoic based metrics. And then I also hear something else that I think is really important to um, have a healthy sense of appreciation for. And it's the idea that, you know, your KPIs are going to differ based on the season of business that you're in, whether you're in startup or established or scaling on like there, it's going to differ. And I like, I remember when I started out as a business owner, like I, I was still working at the government. I was still an economist and I, I worked every minute that I could <laughs> because I was not only passionate about getting out of my day job, but I was, it also, it was inspiring. And I, I do not regret those days of taking client calls at 7 a.m. and 12 noon and 6 p.m., but it was what it required for me. It was the KPIs that really set me up to be where I am today. Absolutely. And that's the thing, understanding the ebb and flow of it all. When you're scaling, yeah, we're going to have to look at some different numbers and, and you're your lux 20 hours, 25 hours a week may not be where you are. There may need to be a bump up to 35 hours a week. And maybe some of that time is still billable. And some of it is, hey, we're building out lots of stuff in the back end of this business that needs my oversight and my hands on. So yeah, it looks different. And yes, we do have that permission to absolutely measure what we want to measure, but also understand. I want that that permission with that flexibility of it's going to shift. And when it shifts, that's a good thing. That means you basically achieved what you were looking to achieve and you're off now to the next portion of that. You've graduated from the bumper things. Now you're at the the little rolly thing for the bowling alley where you can roll your ball down it and they can go. <laughs> so you're graduating. You're not fully like, you know, um, instrument less at completely where you're rolling the ball yourself, but it's a step and it's a process. And I think that's the, that's the important thing is understanding like running a business, building a business, having a team, like impacting people's lives. Like these are all part of the journey. Enjoy each of these parts of the journey instead of like the, focus on the destination. I have a six figure business. I have a seven figure business. And then you don't enjoy though, any of the things that got you to that point. And I want people to do a better job of enjoying the journey because there are lessons in growth that happens at each of these stages and in seasons, and they are all designed to set us up for the next thing that's to come. 